welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing passive income and tech in today's video I'm going to show you how you can embed loom videos into your Squarespace web pages this is really useful when you've got tutorial videos sales videos screen recordings or anything that you want to share on your Squarespace website before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that I've put any links to any resources in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. If you find my content helpful, please like and subscribe so I can keep making content for you. So I like to be really prepared and I always have my tabs open for whatever I'm doing, just to make it really easy. So I'm just going through everything methodically and going through step by step. So I've got Loom open and I've got my Squarespace website open. This actually will work on any website that has a specific block that I'm about to show you. Okay, so inside Loom, once you've recorded your video or you've uploaded your video or whatever you've done, you are going to come to the share button. Now, there is an embed code. I'm going to go through that first and then I'm going to show you another bonus option way. Okay, so when you come to embed, you just make, make sure that you click the responsive size rather than the fixed size. So the difference is, is responsive is going to change sizes based on the screen and a fixed size means that it'll always stay that exact same size no matter what sort of screen. So say for example, you made it this big, then it is gonna stay that big even if the screen is that big. But with responsive, if you change the size, it's going to go up and down like that. So we wanna copy that embed code and we want to come over to our Squarespace website. I've just got a test page set up just for um, demo purposes. And I'm going to go to edit. You'll click this plus button. And on the right hand side, you'll see this modal pop up. Now you want to go to embed. And you're going to want to go to code snippet. When you embed the data, all you need to do is copy and paste that code that you have from Loom. And there is your Loom video. Now, I just want to make note that if you delete your Loom video inside of Loom, it is not going to show on your Squarespace website. So all this is effectively doing is basically grabbing a screen from inside Loom and it is displaying it on your website. So if you delete that video, it is not going to show on your website. Okay, so the one other feature that I wanted to show you when you embed your videos onto Squarespace is you can use the custom feature image. So when you turn that on, that means that you can upload and change and make a really nice graphic and put it up here so that you don't like have an ugly sort of like giffy screen. I don't really like the screen. I prefer to like create my own custom thumbnails just to make it look a little bit more, you know, professional. The second way I'm going to show you is just by grabbing the link from Loom and going into your Squarespace website. This is the exact same process. Um, you can do this with any website really, just as long as you have an embed feature. Now I'm just going to copy and paste that link in there. Now I just want to say that with this way of doing it, you don't really get as much customization features, but if you just want to just do something really quickly, then that's just a second way to do it. So if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.